welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a brand new custom shoppy doll. We'll be making Elena from Elena of Avalor. Elena is a princess from the magical kingdom of Avalor. She has a little sister. Comment below if you know her name. And stay to the end of the video to see if you're right. To make this custom, we're going to be using this shoppy, Lemony Lime. I picked her because of her dress, which is similar to Elena's, and also because she has darker skin tone, which matches Elena pretty well. Before we start, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this. And click the bell if you want to be notified when I post my next video. Alright, let's get started! The first thing we're going to do is cut off Lemony's hair. She has beautiful hair, but it just has to go because we're going to be replacing it with clay for Elena. Using a flat piece of air dry clay, we're going to rebuild Elena's scalp. So this is going to cover the entire head. And this first piece of clay will also cover up all the leftover hair from Lemony. Once it's all done, we're going to let it dry before we add the rest of the hair. Now let's work on the dress. Starting with a flat piece of clay, we're going to build her skirt. This piece, we're going to wrap around her waist and blend it together in the back. Then we're going to add a second piece. This piece wraps around the first piece and has an opening on the side. We're going to flatten out the edges here and make it look flowy. The scalp has now dried, so let's get back to the hair. We're going to start with one strand of hair on her right side. This is going to be kind of large. We're going to start with the front and then wrap it around the back to look like it's being tied off to the side. Then we're going to add a few smaller pieces on the other side of her face. Now for her big ponytail. We're going to use a large piece of clay that's tapered on both ends. We're going to shape it into an S and attach it to the left side of Elena's head. We're going to do the same with a second piece that's slightly smaller. With some leftover pieces of clay, I'm going to turn them into little flowers. I'm just going to ball it up and then taking a needle, I'm going to poke at it a little bit to shape it. So here is Elena. I think she's starting to look pretty good. The clay is dried and we're ready to paint. We're going to start by painting the skirt underneath a cream color. Then we're going to paint the rest of her dress red. I think this red looks really good against the cream color. Using pink and a little bit of red, we're going to decorate the trim on her dress. I'm just freehanding some swirls with pink and adding layers of red on top.
Next, we're going to paint her hair a rich brown color. This dark brown is looking very, very good on her. As a final touch, I'm going to add a little bit of glue here at the top of her ponytail and add the flowers that I painted in orange and yellow. And I just realized I almost forgot her belt. So I'm going to go back and add a light brown cutter first and layer the gold on top to make her belt. Alright, we're almost done. I'm using acetone here to take off the design on her eyelids and then we're going to repaint her eyes. So do you know the answer to today's question? What is the name of Elena's sister? If you said Isabel, you're correct. Comment below, I win! Alright everyone, so my Elena of Avalor Shoppy doll is complete. What do you guys think? I think she turned out super super cute. So let's take a look at her. She has this gorgeous face with big brown eyes and red lips. And her hair here comes down on the side, a few pieces here, and then the rest of it is tied back into a ponytail that is curled up like this. And here's a smaller piece that's also curled up right in front of it. And of course we got some flowers on top of her head. She is wearing a really beautiful red dress. He has uh, some pink trim so around her shoulders and also all the way around the outside layer. On the inside she has a tan colored skirt. And of course she also has this gold belt. Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Lena of Avalor. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!